And police are on the lookout for a thief who broke into a new thrift shop for the second time. And the nonprofit which operates the store thinks it could be one of his clients who's now victimizing the organization. 7 Action News reporter Michael Rosenfield is in Detroit with more on a man who didn't let a little glass stop him from getting what he wanted. Twice in two weeks, somebody has broken into a local thrift shop, both times throwing a brick through the window and then crawling inside. Take a look as a man rummages through the new St. Vincent de Paul thrift shop on Gratiot, where it's believed the same man has now broken in twice, both times hitting the same parts of the store and coming in the same way. Broke in, crawled through the window, a lot of blood, so he cut himself coming in, uh, but he must have really needed to be in here because he went to a lot of lengths to crawl through the, a very small opening. During the first break-in, the suspect is wearing a leather jacket. The second time, he's more covered up as he tries to lay low and avoid the cameras. Here he is hitting the register. Eventually, he breaks into the office where there's a safe inside. Very frustrating. Uh, I mean, we raised money to send disadvantaged kids to camp. They took money off the counter for the camp. They broke into our safe. But the suspect isn't done yet. Here he attacks a soda machine, getting at least one drink and perhaps some coins. At times, he's even on a cell phone, believed to be communicating with a lookout on the street. At one point, he looks in a glass case, which contained candy bars, batteries, and jewelry. The thrift shop just opened up about six weeks ago, a place to help the poor with clothes, food, and household items. And for a nonprofit which relies on grants and donations, a break in hits hard. When we're uh, planting our flag in Detroit. We want to be part of the solution, not part of the problem. We want to help those who live in poverty with uh, inexpensive shopping for thrift clothing. St. Vincent de Paul is hoping the cameras will deter people from breaking in in the future, and that the images will help lead to the suspect who swiped so much stuff. In Detroit, Michael Rosenfield, 7 Action News. The suspect got away with hundreds of dollars in cash. St. Vincent de Paul is angry that it took police over an hour to respond, but police tell Action News there were no units available because they were on life-threatening calls, which always take precedence over property crimes.